Hey guys, it's Jennifer, aka Creole Azucar, and I am back with my final video in this Wednesday Blitz for you guys. And I'm going to be talking about the Karen's Body Beautiful Sweet Ambrosia Leave-In. And this has piqued my interest for such a long time. I really wanted to try it. Um, the price point kind of had me a little iffy, if you will, um, for a leave-in. And not to mention my targets do not carry this. I cannot find this in any targets around my house. So I um, actually did a swap with um, a lovely lady in my Facebook group. It's all about the curls and this was part of our swap. She was able to get this little one for me from Target, which is super cute. It's two ounces and this is the pomegranate and guava scent. And I really do love this packaging, I have to say. And I wish I would have brought the full size one over here because um, I have it. I didn't repurchase it, but I have access to the full size one. So the full size one packaging is just like this. It's just packaged in an eight ounce package. So you can see that the ingredients list is super short. Um, so it's just saying a few dabs away from soft, moisturized, detangled hair. Make sure kinks, coils, and curls more manageable. Um, and chemical or heat straightened hair. Um, well, thank you. Um, apply a generous amount to hair when damp. Um, and the ingredients are purified water, jojoba, avocado, and coconut oils, vegetable wax, panthenol, amica, candelula, echinacea, nettle, and horsetail extracts, vegetable glycerin, wheat germ oil, essential and or fragrance oil, absorbic acid, and vitamin E. So really not a long ingredients list. And I really do love the way this smells. I can't exactly tell you what it smells like. I just know it smells good. I actually wish the scent was a little bit stronger and that it lingered in your hair a little bit longer. The very first time I used this, and I cannot remember what I used to cleanse with, but the very first time that I used this, my hair smelled amazing and the scent did linger for like days. It was awesome. The three subsequent times that I used it, it didn't really linger. So I don't know if like the deep conditioner that I used or something just overpowered the smell. And I only have a, oops, only have a little bit left. So this is what it looks like. And you can see it is very loose. It's very runny. So that's what it looks like. It has good slip. It goes on very well. Um, because it is so thin, I did kind of feel like I needed a lot, but I do feel like this little two ounce container lasted me a long time. I used this probably, I got about four uses out of this and I have like a teeny tiny bit left. So the last time that I used it was this past Saturday, Friday or Saturday, I can't remember. I co-washed my hair and... Um, when I don't have to be at work, I like to give my hair a break in terms of styling. I'm getting really lazy with it, you guys. So I like to just put in either just a leave-in or like a leave-in and my butter on top and just rock with that. So that's what I did. I used this and then I put, um, I actually put my Anita Grant lemon sponge butter on top and it was okay day one but like day two and it was really like big soft fluffy hair and i did have some definition but like day two day three it was just dry um and that has been my experience unfortunately with this is that it just does not have enough moisture for me and i mean just looking at the ingredients there's a lot of oils you know like the first ingredient is water then it's jojoba, avocado, and coconut oil. Oils do not add moisture to your hair. Oils just seal in the moisture. Um, so when I'm looking at the ingredients, I kind of understand why I didn't have a lot of moisture because those three oils are in the first five ingredients. The um, 
fifth ingredient is vegetable wax and then panthenol. So I understand why I didn't have a lot of moisture. Um, I know there are a lot of ladies with tighter curl patterns that really love this. Um, and I don't know if it's just because those hair textures are putting heavier butters and stuff on top of this. And so maybe they need to start with like a very light leave-in. Um, I'm not sure. I just know that this did not work for me as a leave-in. And I don't know that I would use it as like, um, um, what am I trying to say? Like a moisturizer. Um, it says it can be used several times a week or daily. Use before you apply heat. Maybe that would be, um a good use for it. I'm not sure. I don't know what agents in this would protect from the heat. Um, but because it's so thin, I could see how you would do that. And maybe just if you were blow drying your hair to do twists or something like that. But unfortunately, this was a no-go for me. I really, really wanted to love it, especially now that I know I could get it on the ground at Pampered and Twisted if I wanted it. Um, and I'm still interested to try her Luscious Locks hair mask. So we'll see if I get to that in the future. So if you're dying to try this, I would say try it, find it, find someone who can get this little two ounce kind of sample for you before you invest, I think it's $16 for the eight ounce size. So that is my full review and opinion of the Karen's Body Beautiful Pomegranate and Guava Sweet Ambrosia Leave-In Conditioner. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the description box below. If you have any suggestions of videos that you would like to see from me, um, please leave that in the description box below um, as well. I am definitely going to be uploading on Wednesdays and Fridays going forward. I may be doing some mini blitzes like this, or you may just get three videos in a week as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. You have no idea. Um, so thank you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon.